Martin Chirino executed Raith 28, or Route 28, in a critical period in the history of Spanish art, in a time marked by the upheaval of a new generation of artists and intellectuals against Francisco Franco's dictatorship. Chirino used his sculpture as a way to comment on humanity's universal connection with nature in light of political repression and lack of humanism. The sculpture's seemingly lightweight nature contradicts the heaviness inherent to iron, expanding on the revolutionary tradition of iron sculpture started by Julio González in the late 1920s. Iron becomes the most important material in Chirino's oeuvre, and it can be interpreted as symbolic of the strength of the Spanish people. Born in 1925 in Las Palmas de Gran Canaria, Spain, Chirino's work is imbued with the ancestral Canarian culture of his birthplace, as well as the characteristic volcanic landscapes that define the geology of the Canary Islands, situated on the west coast of the African continent. Volcanoes, fire and iron are a key component of the poetic materiality of his work. Chirino studied at both the Royal Academy of Fine Arts of San Fernando in Madrid and the Royal Academy of Arts in London and travelled to Paris. He then returned to Spain, where he became a co-founder of the El Paso Group in 1957, which also included Antonio Saura and Manolo Miares, among others. In their manifesto, the artists proclaimed a kinship with forms relating to tools and their relationship to the soil, citing that their art connected to the human spirit in the same way tools join humanity with the earth and the telluric. Chirino himself stated, My sculpture approaches the tool in its sources. It harmonises perfectly with the plough or net. What these universal primitive appliances have of human continuity could also be said to be contained in my work. The former join man to the earth in a harmonious and necessary task. Sculpture joins itself to the human spirit in its most radical dimension, the tool. As such, there is an integral poetical identification with nature. This sculpture is particularly significant in that the root is entrenched with the land. As the work is intended to sit directly on the floor or on a table, as if the forged iron grows from the earth itself. Route 28 features a consolidation of rugged shapes, as well as suggestions of the more organic lines that would come to fruition in his later work. Though abstract, these fluid lines hint at the human form and human presence. As such, it powerfully seeks inspiration in nature to speak to the resilience of humankind. <laughs>